When I saw it and I called my parents, mm. my dad says he thought I had been in a car accident because I was just screaming. An emotional Aaron Andrews opens up about being stalked and unknowingly videotaped while undressing inside a hotel room in 2008. The sportscaster gets candid about the horrific experience during the November 20th episode of Hoda Kotb's Making Space podcast. That horrible incident mm -hmm. that you endured with that disgusting yeah. stalker who did the videotaping of you. I was just imagining how you stepped out into the world after that, after having endured that. I mean, people thought it was a scandal and I, I, you know, I'm the square from high school. I don't do those things. I knew the second I got the phone call from my friend at Sports Illustrated that he said, there's this video. And I said, no, there's not. I don't do that. Yeah. I'm single. I don't have that going on in my life. He's like, Aaron, it's you. Aaron continues reflecting on how the reality of the situation hit her. When I saw it and I called my parents, mm. my dad says he thought I had been in a car accident because I was just screaming mm. and I feel so bad. I mean, my parents were incredible. I was God in my thirties when that happened and mm. I resorted to acting like a 15 year old. But the issue was way bigger than teenage drama. Back in 2008, Michael David Barrett followed Aaron to the Nashville Marriott at Vanderbilt University while she was covering college sports and used the peephole of her door to shoot footage of her undressing. The Illinois-based insurance exec later admitted to purposely renting hotel rooms next to the sports anchor in three different cities to capture video of her. At the time, a judge sentenced Michael to 27 months in prison, plus three years of supervised probation, $5,000 in fines, and over $7,000 in restitution. He was later ordered to pay her $27 million in damages. But that's not the only thing Aaron took away from the traumatizing situation. In 2015, she told Redbook, It's proved to me how strong I am. I couldn't pretend like it wasn't a big deal. It was.